Question. What is the minimum dimension between the two pontoon hulls? This dimension is a very accurate dimension that we need. As you can see, we have a Verifoil installed already on this boat. So it would make it quite easy for me to go ahead and do that dimension. But assume this is not here. What we need to do is we need to measure back at an even point, front to back, and measure at that point side to side. In other words, we do not want to be askew or out like this or out like this to where we're taking a dimension. We want an even point side to side. If we're too low, we're going to have a larger number. If we're too high, we're going to have a larger number. If we're at our minimum dimension that we want, that will be the smallest number that you get from hull to hull, front to back in the same spot. In this case, it's 53 and a half inches. That 53 and a half inches is going to directly correlate to the size verifoil that we provide from our shop for your build. When you give us that dimension, we're going to take that dimension and we're going to make the outside of our vera struts, the outside faces of our vera struts that are going to be up against this uh, your pontoon with this uh, protective coating on it so that there's no metal chafe in here. It'll be the outside dimension to give you a snug fit. If we were to get this dimension and it was too small, we would have slop in here, okay? If we were to get this dimension and it's too large, then you're gonna have a hard time fitting your Vera foil in here without some sort of a bow to the Vera struts, which are these V'd struts. So what we wanna do is we wanna be as accurate as we possibly can on that dimension. When we take that dimension, and as I said, this was 53 and a half inches, that would directly correlate to the dimension that I'm gonna take from the Vera strut outside face to this Vera strut outside face. It's actually 53 and 7 sixteenths. So we can be off by a sixteenth, but we want that dimension to be accurate.